Hey everybody, it is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Complex Sky, working our way through the tutorial. Let's uh, pick up where we left off. Last episode, we got our rice farm up and running, and we set up a couple production lines, and we set up transport routes. We just used the auto setup transport. Maybe we'll do it manually next time. Uh, we'll just see. But uh, they do cost. I didn't point that out. But each transport route that we add to a building does actually cost some credits uh, to set that up. Here you can see if we wanted to set up a fourth one, it would cost us 62,800 credits. Again, right now we're doing great on credits. We've got still almost half a million. And underneath the credit indicator here, I'm looking way at the bottom left hand of the screen. You can see we're bringing in, I think that's 181 credits every minute. Now that's not a ton, <laughs> that's not a ton at all, but at least we're in positive territory. And if we look at the top right hand side of the screen, it looks like we're doing pretty good on electricity and water since we placed our utility building down. So right now we don't have these fully automated. We need to supply coal to the power plant or at least have wood in storage. So eventually that's gonna run out of power or run out of fuel. And the same thing for the rice and the sapling production lines. We need to have uh, dirt available. I think the dirt, let's see, the dirt is for the what? The dirt is just for the saplings. So eventually we're going to have to automate this stuff, and we'll get to that later. Let's go ahead and get back into the tutorial, F1. We just did the transportation. All right, 12 of 14, so we're getting through this. Mechanics of population. Okay, here we go. We got the basic apartment. <clears throat> Excuse me. In order to grow your city, you need credit and workforce. You build some houses, but that's not enough. You can make them grow even faster while getting more credits out of them by adding consumption demand to the house that you built earlier. Okay, now it says click on the above button to add consumption demand. So let's look at that. Let's go into the apartment. I don't think we've walked through this, uh, the tabs here yet. So this shows that we have zero of four modules available, zero of four houses, and zero of three house supports. So let's see if we can figure out what all that stuff is. Uh, under residents, it shows that we've got 20 residents out of 23 possible. And the hover pop-up shows us even more stuff. Nine cycles until we grow, and we grow at a rate of 24 per minute. We grow 85, 200. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's telling us, to be honest. So it's con the population of the citizens in here are contented. And in order to increase it, I think those white things are the ones we need to do. So right now we've got more than 20 population. So that's satisfied. We've got water and electric services, so that's satisfied. But we need one distinct item consumption, which I think is the rice. But let's see. And then we need one additional service. Space available, three. 20 base population and 10 dynamic. All right. Three space from Aura. All right. All right, well, let's see here. So it's saying go ahead and click on the above button to add consumption demand. So right now it shows water, it shows factory, because we're near a factory, this is giving us an extra three people. So right now when it says 20 out of 23, I think this extra three is coming from being next to the factory. So more people wanna live here because it's close to uh, work. That's my guess. Okay, we don't have an indoor park or a trash dispenser or a small canteen. So let's go ahead and try this. Uh, I'm on the residence tab. I'm gonna go ahead and click add consumption demand. And my guess is this is gonna add rice, but we'll just see. Okay, we can pick. All right, cool. So we'll get 20 coins per item if we add rice. So I'm not sure what the two plus 0.48 per minute. I'm guessing that is gonna increase our population by two immediately and then increase the rate at which our population increases. Let's just try it. 
that's the only thing we've got. We can supply these basic consumer goods, but we don't have those and we don't have boxed water either. But we do have rice. So let's click that and see what happens. Boom. Okay, 12 minutes, 106 credits, or 12 per minute at 106 credits per minute. So that should increase our income. And I see a little progress bar here moving along. So I think we're going to get more people once this progress bar goes to the end. But I think it takes a minute for it to cycle. So we're not going to sit here and watch it. Let's move down here. Storage. Okay, rice is automatically being delivered. We didn't set that up. So it's being delivered. Let's see what's going on here. So when we clicked the auto transport button on the uh, rice farm, I'm wondering if that set this up as well. So this is, again, one of those uh, load transportation orders. And it's bringing rice into the inventory of our apartment. So I'm not sure how that route got set up. If that was from us clicking add consumption demand and choosing rice, that's probably it. Yeah, that's probably it. They probably set up the transport route for us. Very cool. We've got some rice in storage. Excuse me. And then we've got the ability to do upgrades, except we don't have the resources to do it. We don't have 27 gears. It looks like uh, there's a couple check marks here. So these are the upgrades that we have available to us. A trash dispenser. Give a chance of getting extra credits from the trash, basically. We get some tax gain. We get extra storage slots. Then the other one, if we click on the other checkbox here, we can add a small canteen. And that's going to also help our tax and help the population growth rate internally to this building. Costs us credits, iron plates, and wood. So we could do both of these. And then maintenance, it takes rice, I guess, to keep the canteen going. So we could upgrade. And what's this other upgrade down here? Okay, this one is module. So if I click upgrade here, it says upgrade. And if I click on this one, it says module upgrade. So this is augmenting the apartment itself. Let's see what it says. Three worker space. Plus four worker space for dynamic and one worker. It takes iron gears and wood. But there's no real button to click here. And what I think this is doing, I think what this little tab is going to tell us is if we upgrade the apartment, this is where those modules will show up. And it's showing here that we can add a modular worker house. And we currently, we don't have any of those. And it says, go ahead and click on the module to show the required space. Where the module, I believe, is going to show up. Let me get rid of this menu. Uh, where's the X? There's that one. So if we click on the apartment again, now I come down to uh, city. Hmm, I don't see it. We may need to unlock those through the tech tree. So we'll keep playing, but uh, there is going to be a way for us to add modules to this, but I have a feeling we need to unlock them through the tech tree, and it could be the tutorial is going to show us that. So we'll hold off on that for now, but I believe there is going to be a way for us to add the modules. Let's uh, go ahead and close this. We did the population demand thing. Very good. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this one's for modules and automating mining. So mining facility, and this is going to be our first step to kind of automating stuff, like the coal for the power plant. Let's see. Okay, select mining facility from the building selection menu. Okay, and then change the mode to module mode. Okay, let's try it. Building selection. Do we have that? Is it utility? What did it say? It's mining building selection menu. Where was that? Is it in here? Okay, I don't see it. Okay, mechanics. Module, automate the mining. Mining facility. Okay, build. Utility connector to set the electricity and water connection to point to the building. Okay, I think we haven't unlocked this, to tell you the truth. We may need to go back into the research tree. Let's do that. I'm going to jump into the research tree. 
That's our quest. Here's our research tree. Okay, that one we've done. Let's see what's available to us. We've got iron processing, which is gonna unlock the foundry. We've got artificial ecosystem, which we haven't actually researched yet. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we have the resource, the resources. Let's try it. Yep, done. Okay, what does that give us? We have the iron processing. Okay, this is basic research. I just have a feeling that we haven't, there it is. See, mining facility is over here under mining. So we can't build that yet. We can't move forward in the tutorial until we complete some of this research. So let's do it. Uh, mining requires the iron processing and that one we can do. Just takes 500 credits and iron ore. We probably have that, we'll find out. Yep, this says we do. So let's just do it. Boom, instantaneous. That gives us the foundry. It's a basic factory to transform raw materials into more useful ones, such as iron and copper plate, iron and copper plates. Adds pollution and adds to the ugliness. Comes towards wear and tear and effect. Unlock more hand recipes. Okay. So if we go to the mining menu, let's uh, right click out of this, right click out of the quests. Let's go to the mining menu just for the heck of it. Okay. Yeah. And we've got a couple, we got another recipe here that got unlocked the copper plates. All right. Back to the tech tree. And we want to get the mining. So that is mining. I think we can research it. We did the prerequisite. Just takes 15 iron and 3,000 credits. Again, we're looking great on credits. In fact, it's gone up, right? Look, it continues to go up. We're at four, 410 extra credits per minute. That's not stellar, but that's, again, good to be in the positive. Okay, this one is going to get us the mining machine, which is a module. The wood collecting machine, was, which is a module. It gets us a whole new building called the factory, the mining factory. Cool. And I believe these modules, the mining mo machine and the wood collector machine attach onto the mining factory. And then we get a utility connector, which is also needed for the mining facility. Let's research it and do it. Research, pretty easy. Boom, done. It's just a matter of having the materials right now. I don't know if the game will change and it'll, you know, there'll be a time progression required, but it looks like it's pretty instantaneous right now. Let's see, what else can we do while we're in here? Let's go ahead and do basic research. This is gonna unlock the research laboratory. Okay, and this is where I think things start to get a little slower because we have to produce, we have to produce this research. See here, this little, beaker or whatever that is. So I think we're coming to the end of the ones that just require basic materials from here on out. We're going to need these uh, little beakers of research. I don't know if there's multiple kinds. It looks like maybe just one kind, one level. This is kind of what I think of as like a science pack. If you're familiar with other factory games or tech tree kind of games. Anyway, let's do the last one here. Boom. Oh, need more materials. What are we short on? Oh, we need stone cloaks. We'll get to that later. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's go back to the tutorial F1 and get the mining facility built. Okay. Now, where we place this, I think, matters. Okay. Build the utility connector. All right. Build the mining machine. Add a mineral deposit. Okay, build a mining machine and a mineral deposit to automatically mine those minerals. Keep in mind the mining machine can only be built within some range of the building. Okay. So we need to get near some minerals. Coal would be ideal. So where is there coal? I, <laughs> the other thing that would be ideal is to be kind of on the same plane that we're on now. But... uh there's some iron and stone. Now that's not a bad idea either. And we've got the forest. We could use wood from the forest to power our power plant. Do we have any coal nearby? There's some coal right there. Coal and stone. Let's start with those two. 
We're going to want to quickly move to iron as well for the iron plates and get that automated. And the mine is really our first step towards getting things automated. So let's give this a shot. Now this may take a few attempts before we get it, but let's do it. Pretty sure we're going to need these structure foundations. So let's go ahead and fill this area in with those. There is a cost financially and weight for these. So you don't want to just throw them down willy nilly. Let's go to, is it factory? Okay, check it out. Now we've got the assembly foundry. And we've got the mining facility. Let's do mining facility. That's what we want. I put down more blocks than I needed to, it looks like. Okay, if I click, right, we need to put the regular foundations down. So let's do that. This time we'll just do the four. Because that's all we need. So let's just do that. It's a little tricky. There we go. Close that. And factory, mining factory, we'll pop this guy down. We're going to pay attention to where that the white pillar is. I want to put that on the roads. There we go. It doesn't look like it requires electricity or water, so that's kind of cool. Pop that guy down. I'm going to click on it and just make sure that it doesn't. No, nope, it doesn't need electricity. So I didn't see a yellow thing. Where is it? It does say it needs electricity. Oh, yeah, this one's a little confusing. So let's go back to the tutorial and I'll explain. This one, you need to actually add a component here in order to connect up to the utilities. So it's kind of strange, but it'll show us how the modules work. But here's where it says it in the tutorial. Build the utility connector to set the electricity and water connection point to the building. The utility connector can build inside the highlighted area around the building. All right. So where's the highlighted area around the building? Let's see. Let's see. Let's pick it first. I have this building here and now see where it says tab module. I can click this, but even without clicking it, if you look down here in the toolbar, it automatically popped up the available modules. We got a utility connector, the mining machine and the wood collector. Right now we want the utility connector. So let's pick that. We can see what it costs. We may need to uh, do a little crafting here, but it takes two steel plates and 10 of those cement blocks or stone blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Okay. Now I guess this is showing me where I'm able to build this utility connector. So let's build it. I'm going to build it right here. And of course it's not going to build because it probably needs a foundation. I'll just click to see. Must build an area highlighted around the building. Okay. I'm in an area highlighted around the building. I think the real issue, I think the real issue is we don't have a foundation there. So let's go ahead and put one down just in case. I could be wrong, but we'll learn it together. I'll go ahead and click the building again. I'll right click this guy to get out of my way. Utility connector, rotate the sky. Let's see here. What does this guy need? Okay. It says must be built inside the highlighted area around the building, but then I see a little symbol for like steel plates. Let's see what this thing costs. Two steel plates and 10 stone blocks. Let's see if I have that in inventory. <clears throat> got tons, right? Tons of iron plates, tons of stone slabs, which I've been calling the stone blocks or cement blocks. So let's see if we can figure out what is the issue here. Try it again. Utility connector. And I remember having a little bit of an issue with this before. I don't, whoops. Okay. Does it need to be down underneath? Hmm. Sure seems like it could go here. Why not? Now you're watching this and you can probably tell where what I'm missing here. Right there is where I'm thinking it could go. 
Not sure why. Okay, must be inside the highlighted area around the building. Okay, close. And does it... Let's see. Let's go ahead. I'm going to deconstruct a couple things here. I'm just experimenting. So now I've taken off all the structure block and the structural foundation. I'm going to see if it will take it now. Utility connector. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here's the issue. The utility connector, if I change my point of view here, it's showing me the blocks where it'll fit. And those blocks are one level below where the factory is actually, where the mining building is. So by opening up a slot, I took out all the uh, structure blocks and everything else, the foundation block, it just left an open space right in, kind of immediately below the building, touching the foundation that the building is, the mining building sitting on. And it looks like it's gonna accept it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay there. I'm not sure if I can build a road on top of this. We'll find out. But let's go ahead and get that built. And let's see. Now that now there's a yellow uh, beam there for the electricity connection. And I think I can pop the electricity right next door. Let's see. It's not connected yet. Let's go to utilities and the power cable. And there's power right next door. If I just do one click here, we should be good to go. Check it out. All right, our mining facility, we've got power and we're connected to the network. I'm not sure what we can build on top of this guy. We'll find out. We'll keep playing and we will find out. But for now, that is good. Now we need to, um, let's go back to the tutorial, see what it tells us. But I think we're gonna need to add modules here for the actual mining. So we've got the factory, but we need to put down uh, either wood cutters or you know, mining drills <laughs> to actually harvest something. Okay. So we did the utility connector, build the mining machine at a mineral deposit to automatically mine those minerals. Keep in mind the mining machine can only be built within some range of the building. All right. So let's try it. I don't know if it needs to sit on a foundation or just a structure foundation or what. I'm going to pick the mining machine module. And let's see where it likes it, if anywhere. Let's see, let me back up and just see. So we've got a little more range now. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think that's showing where I can place it. Oh, look at that. So again, with no structure blocks, it seems to like it. And where did my camera work here? It looks like we need to be, yeah, kind of underground again almost. Let's, uh, I'm going to right click to get out of the menu and I'm going to deconstruct this guy here. And hopefully my intention is that he will mine or this miner will mine the stone in this coal. If I put the mining module right down there, let's do it. Uh, I just got to first click the mining build and then I'll do the mining machine and I'll see if he will slot in down there and I'll rotate does it need oh there it goes okay so that little yellow thing pointing out is needs to touch some minerals that looks like it's going to work right there boom so let's keep an eye on this i'm going to go ahead and click on the mining building and look at the tab see if we can see what it's producing this is just showing us the power there's storage so look at it it's mining coal and stone so these numbers are going up now for the transportation think in order for these materials to actually get used, we got to set up transport routes back to our operations center. And then we've got some ability to upgrade later on once we produce more iron gear wheels. But we'll leave or a couple of different upgrade options here. So we'll worry about those later. Let's go ahead and click the auto setup transport and see what we get. Okay, we've got, we're shipping both products out to the operations center. 
So that's all done for us just by clicking that button. That makes things easy. And now we are mining coal and stone. Now, do we have any iron nearby? Boy, if we did, that would be nice. But I don't think it's close enough. There's some over here, but I don't think that's within range. That's just for the heck of it. Click the mining machine and see. I'm pretty sure we can't. That's just too far out. We could do another one over here, right? We could get more. Probably doesn't hurt to do it. Oh, can this guy sit? Look at that. Okay. So this guy doesn't need to be at that low level. He just needs to be anywhere where he can tap into that resource. So even stacked on top, this looks like it's going to work. We might just do it. How many modules do we get? I think we get, let's see. Ooh, six. We get six modules. So let's go ahead and place another mining machine on this guy. Boom. Okay, that'll increase our production. They'll use the same uh, shipping routes. And now we have another module we can do, which I think is the trees, right? Wood collector. And hopefully that's a forest tile. Let's see, what is this? This says trees. That's not really a forest tile. So that's kind of decorative. Even though there's trees there, I don't think we can mine those or harvest them. Let's just try it. So this guy... See, I'm hitting the R key to try and rotate it, but it looks like it almost doesn't matter. It needs to sit on top of a tile that is a forest tile. Ooh, this might work. Okay, boy, well, we got one just in range, or maybe two. Yeah, we've got only two tiles that are in range that are uh, will allow us to collect wood and it looks like saplings so not even the dirt wood and saplings hmm i kind of wouldn't mind having the dirt because we had to use that for the uh, rice farm right but if we get saplings automatically then from this then maybe we don't need to have our rice farm producing saplings so let's go ahead and put two of these down right let's take a look at these guys they're producing saplings and raw wood. So let's go to our rice farm and just turn off the saplings for now. Cause that's chewing through a bunch of dirt and maybe we don't, maybe we don't need that. So why don't I hit, uh, I'll leave the line set up, but by hitting pause here, I just hit the play button really. So if I hit the play button, that pauses that production and we won't be uh, consuming any more dirt. We've got 88 left, it looks like. That's all the stuff that we put over here. I can't remember if we dragged that or if we let the uh, we put that in the operations center. But anyway, I don't think we need that anymore. Now we're producing saplings from our mining facility. So let's get out of this stuff and take a quick look at our general inventory. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I've got wood there. That's the stuff that we hand harvested. Let's look at the operation center's inventory. Okay, I see saplings coming in, but I think those are from the rice farm. I'm curious to see if we get wood, where that might come from. And we may need to actually, where are we? That is the utility service. Where's our mine? Our mine is over here. Transport. So we need to do auto transport again to get the wood routing is my guess. Let's click it. Boom. There we go. Now the saplings are going to get delivered to the operation center and the wood is going to get delivered to the operation center. Very cool. So now you can see we're slowly, slowly, very slowly starting to automate some of this stuff. So we don't have to hand harvest wood or saplings and i think the next thing we may want to do is set up another one of these mining facilities near a coal deposit so that we can make sure our power plant stays fully uh powered up because this guy's probably oh he's doing pretty good 54 coal still not bad yeah our energy looks pretty good actually right now and so does our water 
we've got kind of a yellow issue on the pollution. We'll have to look at that maybe next episode. Anyway, yeah, let's stop it here. Let's call this an episode. We got our, our first mining factory up. Very cool. We completed some research. We had to complete some research to uh, unlock this building. And we put down two mining drills and we put down two uh, like forest harvesters. I forget what those are called. Wood collector machines. <laughs> Pretty descriptive. And then we learned kind of about this tricky utility module, utility connector module that sits one level below the uh, mining factory. And you kind of have to snap that on yourself after placing the mining building. So that's kind of interesting dynamic. But we got it all hooked up. We got it all working. It didn't take too much trial and error. So cool. And then we're almost through the tutorial. We're making good progress on that. Very good. All right. Well, let's wrap this one up here. And we will pick it up in the next one. So for now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I appreciate having you here on this journey with me playing Complex Sky. Again, this is pre-early access. There's a demo that's, you know, as I record this, there's a demo that's about to be released on Steam. Should be there within a week or two, I think. And uh, so you can get your hands on this and I believe play it for free pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to have all the functionality. Uh, the developer did give me a full license some time ago so that I could provide this content for you. So my thanks to him for that. And that's what we're playing on. So I, I don't have any limitations here. So we're going to go for quite a bit longer here in this series. We'll get to the tutorial and then we'll just see how far we can go. And eventually, hopefully we can get to uh, building on the other side here on the flip side. But lots more to learn about the game. So stick with me. This is Glider Cat signing off for now. I'll see you in the next episode.